Hey everybody, welcome back to Gideon Stuff. Are you looking for some cool knives to buy in 2024? I bet you are. I think this is going to be a great year for knives. Um, just recently I saw CRKT's new lineup and I gotta say, I'm really excited about a lot of that stuff. I have not made any knife purchases yet this year. Go me, I'm very proud of myself. I can feel my resolve breaking down though. Um, but in today's video, I'm going to give you some really, really cool knives. If you, if you only buy one knife this year, it should be a knife that's on this list. We're going to try and keep everything under a hundred dollars. So should be pretty accessible to a wide range of budgets. Now, by the time you're seeing this video, I should have full reviews of most of these knives already up on the channel. But for those that I do not have reviews for yet, they are coming. So before I kick this off, I want to give shout outs to two honorable mentions. And the only reason these are honorable mentions is because I decided to make this a top 10 list instead of a top 12 list. But those two knives are the Kubi Tidious. Well, this is the first one. I really, really love this knife. Get past the name. The Tidious is the uh, generic name of, of some species of scorpion, I believe. Um, but yeah, this is a fantastic knife. Great ergos. Stupid, stupid action. Uh, whether you're using that thumb hole or that flipper tab works really, really well. Just completely false shutty, as you can see there. And they've got some more premium versions of this available that have titanium scales and their, their frame locks. So definitely a knife to give a look to. And I guess I should mention now, if you can already tell, this does not have to be new knives. The, the knives on this list don't have to be new or anything. These are just knives that I think are really, really cool and worth your time. Uh, the second knife we're gonna talk about uh, is the CJRB Feldspar. You guys know how much I love this knife. In my opinion, this is still one of the very best everyday carry budget knives ever made. Um, there's so many versions of this knife. I absolutely love the Feldspar. It's it's just wonderful. So definitely give this one a try. If you have not yet, you will not regret it. Very, very cool knife. All right. And I also already had a lot of CGRBs on the list. That's the only reason this one wasn't on the list proper. So there we go. Let's go ahead and start this list off with the Sincut Serene that's been sitting out here. This is an excellent knife, especially for the money. It's really, really hard um, to justify buying a more expensive knife when you can get this for less than $50. It really is. This is just an amazing knife. Aluminum scales, which by the way, are gorgeous. Look at those beautiful aluminum scales. Holy cow. Beautiful scales, fantastic button lock action multiple deployment methods so it's super fidgety and this blade is so useful a full flat ground drop point d2 blade this thing cuts and cuts and cuts um, you can see here that my particular knife does have some rust spots on it we've got a little bit of rust going on here that's something that you sometimes have to deal with the d2 however if that does not float your boat there are coated bladed versions of this that are also very very cool i particularly like the uh, coated blade with the green aluminum scales, but just a really, really great knife. It's a full size EDC knife, which I really appreciate. Reversible pocket clip and button lock uh, means this is a great knife for lefties and righties alike. Uh, just a fantastic, fantastic knife. And um, yeah, you don't need me to tell you that. Everyone's been singing the praises of this knife, so I'm just kind of wasting my time, but it's a great knife. Check one out if you haven't yet. All right, where do we want to go from there? You know what? Let's kind of Let's kind of switch gears a little bit. The Cold Steel 8010 Lite. You gotta try one of these. This is perhaps the best hard use folder on the market. And that's because, for one, it has a triad lock. It's built by Cold Steel. This thing is a literal tank. It's a beast. Um, pretty much bomb proof and indestructible. But it's also only 85 bucks. And this much just durability and pure testosterone filled macho beast of a knife is insane for that price. I, I, I kind of lost where I was going with that thought because this knife just blows my mind. This is a knife I had so much fun reviewing. I particularly love this Tonto blade. You can also get the drop point version. I would say go with the Tonto, but if that's not really your thing, you don't have to. Just a fantastic, fantastic knife. Yes, it's plastic scales and Austin, but let me tell you something. 
Aus 10, especially Cold Steel's Aus 10, is no slouch. I love this steel. I've abused the heck out of this steel on multiple knives, and it's held up really, really well. The plastic scales, too, they feel really nice. This knife is so comfortable in hand. And if it really bothers you, you can buy aftermarket scales. Um, there's all kinds available nowadays. But this is just a great, great knife. Fantastic action. You see I can flick that out there with no wrist. Again, exceptional ergonomics. This is a knife that you can pretty much do anything to, and uh, it's just going to shrug it off. Great, great knife. Definitely worth checking out. All righty. Let's switch gears again and go to kind of the opposite of that cold steel. The Real Steel Solus Light. Holy cow, I love this little slip joint so much. D2 steel, G10 scales, and that's it. And this thing is, it's simple and classy, and I love that. Great little Warncliffe blade, very, very useful. Good walk and talk. We've got Real Steel's three-quarter stop. Just an excellent little slip joint. This particular version I think is really, really cool with the kind of goldy bronze accents. You can have a pocket clip, which is a really, really nice pocket clip, by the way. Pretty much a perfect pocket clip. You have a long fuller here instead of a nail nick or anything, so it makes pulling it out really, really easy. Just a great looking slip joint. And this version here, you can still find on like Blade HQ and stuff for less than $30. However, I am seeing them releasing um, some more versions this year that have the G10 and the D2 for like 35, 40 bucks, which is still a great deal. But yeah, if you can get it at that, you know, $29 price point, uh, you definitely should because this thing is fantastic. This is great for people who might be concerned about legality issues. Um, slip joints are a good way to kind of um, be compliant to things like that. But this is also a great knife for people just looking for a backup folder. That's how I carry this a lot. And you can see I have really carried the snot out of this thing. I, I love this knife. It's really, really good. Cannot recommend it tonight. enough. <laughs> Definitely worth a pickup. All righty. Next up, another kind of big knife. The CJRB Resource. This is a really, really cool knife. Um, this is a Dirk Pinkerton design. And what I like about it is it's just big, right? This is something that CDRB hasn't really done before, but this is just a big, kind of overbuilt, kind of chunky knife. It looks like a bushcraft knife. I have done a whole lot of testing with this knife. If you have not seen the review for this, definitely check it out. Um, I do all kinds of stuff in that video. This is a great, great knife. Um, I do wish that maybe it had a lock that was stronger than the, than the liner lock, but this liner lock has broken in, and this knife is plenty durable. Plenty, plenty durable. This is a great knife to use with gloves. Um, this is a great knife for people with big hands. I mean, look how much handle there is there. Just a really, really cool knife. Very well built. Great action. Um, it, it definitely kind of stands out in my CGRB collection. When I line up all my CGRB knives, the resource kind of kind of stands out. And it's not like the design is doing anything crazy, because it's not. This is a pretty basic knife design. But something about it, the way they executed it, the way that... I don't know what it is, but this knife definitely has its own personality, its own presence. And so, yeah, I definitely think it's worth checking out, especially if you're someone who might, you know, be interested in big knives. This is a good one. So, CJRB resource. Alrighty, next up, let's just go ahead and rip the band-aid off. You guys probably knew this knife was going to be on there. The Civivi Vision FG. Holy crap, what a knife. What an amazing knife. And for 80 bucks, yeah, this is, this is fantastic. Phenomenal action. Love that super lock. It's very strong, but also very fidgety. The blade shape is super useful. Nitro V steel on this guy. Uh, micarta scales here. Very comfortable in hand. Reversible clip, which means this is a knife that is completely ambidextrous. Designed by Snex. Just a really, really cool knife. I have really loved and abused mine. As you can see, he's taken some, some pretty serious love marks, but that is okay. This knife just works and works and works. And I really, really love it. 
And honestly, I don't really know what else to say. Everyone's channel has been singing the praise of this knife. Again, much like um, that, that uh, Serene we looked at. Um, but this is... This is just a great, great knife. Love this VV Vision FG. Oh, listen to those sounds. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. All righty, next up. The CJRB Frack. This is a knife that I was really excited to get. I love the looks, but I didn't expect to use it and love it as much as I have. I've been using this out on the ranch and it has been a really, really nice tool to use. I really do like this knife. Huge flat ground, AR RPM9 blade. This is a big knife. Button lock, great action. I do like how big they made this plunge lock. Pretty robust, look at the size of that stop pin. Really, really nice um, attention to detail there. Again, reversible clip, so it's very, very nice for lefties or righties. Great thumb hole. The big size, again, makes it a great knife for people that have big hands or, you know, if you're wearing gloves. Just a really, really solid knife. Now, this is my version here with these frag scales. I recently had the opportunity to handle um, a version that had just the smooth scales, and I recommend that one over this version. Uh, I think those smooth scales feel so much better. They just feel so premium, so nice. I'm probably going to get myself another frag with... Um, those smooth scales because uh, the frag is fine too. Don't get me wrong. The frag is fine, but something about those smooth scales just really, really did it for me. It was just, it was really, really nice. Great knife, super badass looking. Just, yeah, yeah. Very cool knife. This one will, this one will scratch a bunch of itches for you. All righty. Next up. The best tech slasher. The large slasher specifically. I love this knife. I I love this knife. This might be one of the best budget work knives ever. Um, they did just about everything right on this knife. The action is fantastic. That crossbar lock is nice and strong. Um, this is on bearings. Ergonomics are just hand melting. This blade of D2 steel is a great shape with a sheep's foot. Um, flat grind it you know it's not the, the, the thin, thinnest thing behind the edge but it is fairly slicey and very robust reversible wire clip so again the lefties can get on in on this the wire clip works amazingly this is just a really really good knife and i i wish that i had i said this i think every time i put this on screen i wish i'd gotten this earlier in 2023 because it would have made it onto my best knives of the year list for sure just an excellent, excellent knife. In some ways, it's kind of no frills, um, you know, straight business. Uh, but in a lot of other ways, it, it has just a lot of subtle class to it and a lot of sophistication. It's a really, really cool knife, and I cannot recommend it enough. Definitely give this one a try. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at some fixed blades. The first fixed blade we're going to take a look at is a CRKT razel fixed blade. I know it looks goofy. It looks weird. It looks gimmicky. Trust me when I say that it is not. This knife is very functional and it's way more useful than you're going to give it credit for. That's the way I was with this knife. I didn't expect much out of it, but holy cow, this has become one of my most carried knives of the year. I just love this thing. It's so useful for scraping, for cutting, for piercing with this little point there. It's a great package opener. And it's a very con convenient size for um, EDC carry. Now the sheath, uh, some people may not like. I don't think it's terrible. I definitely think it could be improved, um, but you know, you can probably find some aftermarket sheaths for it if you want to. Just a really cool knife. I love the red accents. Very, very classy. Um, love that sand finish blade. This is D2, although CRKT does not mark their steel on any of their knives for some reason. Of course, it's a gram design. Very unique, um, but useful jimping up here. Excuse me. Just a really, really great knife. And definitely, if you want to kind of expand your horizons in 2024 and try something new, this is a, this is a great knife for that. Now let's go ahead and do another fixed blade. 
Waxahachie. I absolutely love this knife. Look at that beautiful Bowie blade. 9CR steel, my Carta scales. This has discontinued, so you can find them on sale for some pretty good prices if you look around. This is this thing hardly ever leaves my belt these days. I absolutely love this knife. Um, this is one of my favorite knives ever. So comfortable in hand, such a useful blade, and it just, gosh, it's so easy to carry. It's big enough to get some big tasks done, but not big enough that it's going to be awkward to carry every day. I really, really love this knife. And if you're wanting to kind of get into EDC fixed blades, this is a great one. 42 bucks is what these went for. You can find them now as low as 35 bucks. Really, really great deal. Um, give it a shot. Just, just give it a shot. It's a good one. Alrighty, so for our last knife of the video, this is one that is a modern day classic, but it's one that I think deserves all of its glory. The CJRB Pyrite. Yeah, yeah, I know. I talk about this knife a lot. A lot of people do. It's a good knife, though. I'm not trying to be boring. <laughs> I know, but it's just a really good knife. And if you have not experienced one yet, if you think that they're all hype, that they can't possibly be as good as everyone says they are, think again, buddy. Um, these things are phenomenal. I prefer the drop point, personally. You might like the Warncliffe more. Um, whichever one blade shape you decide to go with, I recommend getting the steel scales. They add a nice bit of girth and some substantial comfort to the handle without making it super heavy. They do pocket these out quite a bit, so it's not like they're, you know, pocket anchors or anything. But just very, very nice, simple EDC knives that get the job done. And honestly, they're, they're pretty classy. And they're inexpensive. And I think that's a beautiful, beautiful combination. So I'm not going to talk any more about these. You guys know them. You guys love them. The CGRB Pyrite is probably one of the best knives to come out in recent days. So there we go. That's our list, guys. I hope there was something on this list that tickled your fancy, something that you haven't experienced before that now you want to. Um, because every knife that I showed today is an exceptional tool. Every knife that I showed today is a knife that you will be proud to carry and use. And whether you're a collector or a user only, um, these knives are functional as well as collectible. So there's something for everyone. And that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave it a like, comment below, and subscribe. I've been Gideon, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.